hindi imagine it. I'm, I'm a farm boy. <laughs> so, alam ko kung paano mag-araro. I'm a boy from uh, Cebu. So basically, I have my roots are from Cebu and Spartan. And my parents are, um, we're not from the well of family, basically. So, uh, we are nine siblings in the family. So, I'm the eighth child. So, it was kind of hard life to all of us because, you know, my, my parents, although my parents were very hardworking and very responsible. So, and I think one of the reasons why, like, you know, I became fashion on it because for my roots as well. My mother and my father are dressmakers and tailors. So ever since when I was young, I woke up 4 o'clock in the morning and could hear the sewing machine working, like early in the morning. So that's how my dad works. So would you imagine, I'm, I'm a farm boy. <laughs> so, alam ko kung paano mag-araro, alam ko kung paano mag-tanim, uh, alam ko kung paano mag-kertanyog, at mag-copra. Uh, mag Leo started way back in college. I was a working student, an academic scholar, so I was maintaining a grade. So, Basically, my course is uh, Bachelor of Elementary Education. So basically, I should be teaching toddlers and children. But it was like a twisted fate why I became a fashion designer. So I, I graduated from a public college, um, state college in Magda you know, I, I'm a working student that was self-supporting myself. So I have to find ways and means to earn a living. So that's when I ended up looking at a newspaper and there was like this hiring, a one page like fashion designer for SMC Discipline. So I sent my sketch, three of my sketches, and uh, the next day I was interviewed, the next day I was working with them. My inspiration, my inspiration is from everything. But to be to ha I have to be honest with you guys, like if you check my process or my design, it has a signature in it. You will know that it's a Leo model dress. Because the thing is, I have like my own, uh, I don't look up to other designers. Uh, I only get inspiration, and the inspiration, like the question that you asked me, I get that one from movies, from anime, from music, from nature, from architecture, everything that you see. Like, just give me a speck or something, like let's say like a flower, I could get that one as an inspiration, make, make it grow. Okay. So that's where, again, that's where I get my inspiration from. The earth, the environment, the nature, architecture, everything that's it. The new collection. I just want it to be very elegant and classy. That's 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 my signature, and I want it to be warm hugging and body hugging as well. Just to give every woman like it. Because I think every woman, as a fashion designer, it's not just all about art and design, but you have to consider the ones who's going to wear it. So you have to consider what they're thinking. Would would they wear the dress? You have to consider those those uh, those factors in creating designs. So for the new collection, I just want it to be powerful, very tailish at the same time. I want to cater to different women, but the aesthetic there is that I just want it to be warm, hugging, beautiful, and not getting cast at the same time. First, I want to discourage you guys. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, fashion industry is a very fierce, uh, let's say, like, a very competitive career for you to take, path. Like, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a very complex path. And I saw like a lot of, uh, how do you call this, um, he, uh, students who go to university and study fashion school. The fact is most of the well-known fashion designers didn't study fashion design, including me, including me, including some of my friends as well, who are famous now worldwide. They just got like maybe a diploma for, let's say like three days, uh, how do you call this, um, Workshop. workshop, something like that, and they get they got the diploma already, but they don't have any you know educational background. The thing is, again, this is like a fierce career to take, so you have to be sure that this is really what you want, and this is what you really want to have in life. You have to be very passionate. You have to be very sure, of, you know, the path that you're taking. And if you are in this business, make sure that you you will create a brand, a signature of your own. That's how you will be recognized and known as a fashion designer. Your own identity, that's very, very important as well. You have to establish it as well, your brand and identity. Hi, this is Leo Amadol, fashion designer and CEO of Leo Amadol Hope Couture. And I would like to invite you guys to please support Philippine Fashion Launch 
That will be on May 4, 2019, 7 p.m. at Chardonnay by Astoria. See you guys.